Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about vaccines and a little white lie from some earlier videos. In an earlier video and others, I talked about vaccines for COVID as if they're like the old vaccines that prevent infection and prevent transmission. Um, even if that were the case, uh, there's an illogic underlying the idea that the unvaccinated should be banished from society because there you would just have them clustering together and uh, transmission would be enhanced. But that's not even the case for the COVID vaccines. For the COVID vaccines, you can still get infected. In fact, you get infected just as much in roughly the same rates as the unvaccinated that have no natural immunity. Um, the, this changes fundamentally the logic behind the supposed vax passports. There is no logic, as we've talked about. The logic that under, underlies all of these things are psychosocietal uh, sort of uh, uh, justifications, not epidemiological ones. So let's just ask ourselves, who are the dangerous ones to society if we had to think about it this way? So you've got the vaccinated who are protected. I mean, there's higher risks uh, for this va these vaccines than for historical flu vaccines and other vaccines. But nevertheless, um, if you make it through the first week, couple weeks of immunosuppression and so forth and keep to yourself, um, it does seem to provide some significant uh, uh, protective value. But how does it behave in terms of uh, protecting others around you? Well, you get infected, you're infectious, and you can infect others. Um, furthermore, you're asymptomatic. You don't show symptoms, which makes you disproportionately dangerous than someone who's unvaccinated and has no immunity at all. So here we have the vaccinated. Now, amongst the unvaccinated, there's two classes. There's the unvaccinated with no nat natural immunity. They've never had COVID before. But they have this special thing that tells others and themselves that they are sick. It's called symptoms. It's called feeling bad. It's called coughing, having a high temperature, and so forth. That's exactly what tells them to stay at home and stay away from other people. So that's better than spreading it asymptomatically without realizing like the vaccinated. Now, the other big class, and it's just probably a majority by now of the population who are unvaccinated, are those who are unvaccinated and have already recovered from COVID. They have broad, long-lasting natural immunity by virtue of that. They don't get infected, and thereby they don't infect anybody else. They're really the best case scenario. So why should it be that they are being put under pressure to have vaccination when there's no further benefit to themselves and potentially only some s small but real risks. If we're going to play the game of who's more dangerous epidemiologically to others, it's the vaccinated, not the unvaccinated, neither class amongst the unvaccinated. But this is not a game that we want to play. This kind of game of treating others as dangerous and unclean is the kind of game that leads to totalitarianism and hatred and classes within society, and that's a danger that we on our side respect and understand and would never push. And that is your science moment. <clears throat>